We can dream. That's what it's all about. In three, in two, in one. Warp. Hydra. What up, everybody? So it's like 4.30 a.m. And here I am browsing through YouTube until I find this clip. This is the lowest float Hydra that has been pulled so far. It's 002. Wide scope with the detailing on here. This one, which is point fifty nine. The pattern stays intact. There's a few scratches here, a few scratches on the stock. This is intact. And then the entire thing turns black with the pattern under it. Really cool. And I actually think I like this more than I like the factory new. Obviously, immediately, I wanted it. I had zero clue about the different kind of appearances of the Orp Hydra in the different conditions. Obviously, I knew the factory new look. I knew this looked super cool. But if you take it all the way down to the battle scarred, it might even look better. Even the worst possible battle scarred version of it still looks super sick. Then I hopped onto CSGO float to check out what was the lowest float Desert Hydra in existence so far. And that was the 0.59. I messed about with a whole different bunch of trade up variations. And it seems like you can't even create the number one lowest, actually highest float or Hydra. Even with a whole bunch of 0.99999s and then the very lowest item you can possibly put in it, which is 0.8 Fennec fox it still comes out at 0.57 so correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but i'm imagining this isn't actually possible and the only way that this skin was actually obtained was through an operation reward like spending stars and then getting it that way but that's not going to stop me trying to get one because i think the black scope and the black body looks super cool even better than the white the last 10 minutes i've been buying all of these battle scarred items required <laughs> the black dragon he's going in we're going to be doing two restricted trade-ups with potential outcomes at over a 50% for the collection that we're after, obviously in Battle Scar. Best case scenario would be the Desert Evil Fennec Fox because that has an even higher float cap. Then, hopefully, after that, if we manage to hit two weapons from the Mirage collection instead of P250 Franklins, then our trade ups will be looking more like this. We will be looking <laughs> extremely random and scary. I believe it's actually a lot cheaper just to put in eight inputs that aren't like cold blooded or serums or something like that. On top of that, the cold blooded and serums, they don't even come in Battle Scar. But by putting two Mirage collections in here, that's going to give us just over a 10% out of Battle Scar Desert Hydra. Very first Battle Scar trade up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's that's a real battle scar. I think this is the first ever like battle scar attempt trade up I've ever done. It feels weird. Over a 50% for the collection that we want. Let's hit it so we can put this in the next battle scar classified trade up. Oh dear. Let's hope we get this one and then we get a 5% chance at least if we get this one. So Lego. Oh dude. I am having absolutely no luck whatsoever with the new collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy the other Fennec Fox that we need. Really didn't want to do that. I just wanted to hit like one of those 60 40s. And I advise that if you guys are attempting this, maybe getting one Battle Scarred item from the Mirage collection, that you use actually USP whiteouts for this because these are like two euros each right now. They're crazy, crazy cheap. Please don't actually do this. You'll see why at the end of the video. All right, let's do it. 11% for the Battle Scarred or Hydra. What a dream. If I get it, pre warning, I can't really jump around and scream because people are sleeping in this house and they got work tomorrow. But 11%, I'm probably not going to get it. We can dream. That's what it's all about. In three, in two, in one, warp, hydra, bounce card. We still got one more shot. Whack in some of these USPS cortexes, followed up by a few whiteouts. The one man army sticking out from all of these others. Come on, there's a evil panic box. Pretty please, all I'm asking is for a little 5%. Battle Scar, Orc Desert Hydra, easy. Oh no! Wait a second, is that an emerald? You guys got a little mad in me last time that I didn't know my knife was uh, necessarily an emerald. I wasn't too quick to call it an emerald, but this is an emerald. I wonder if it's one of the worst condition emeralds. <laughs> I've just been silly and I bought two more of these. I definitely have a problem, but they're in Battle Scarred and we got another shot of this. I really should have just put them all in one contract right at the beginning. That would have been better in terms of the odds. Oh no, I realize what have I done? Don't take my advice at all, guys. The 5 a.m. recording. Do not use USP whiteouts. There's a reason why they're so incredibly cheap. And that is because they horribly 
distort the trade-up percentages in the favor of the Glock 18 Gamma Doppler. So we really messed up the last trade-up. Here's our new trade-up with absolutely no whiteouts in it, thank goodness. I forgot about the glitchy nature of that one with like the over 80% skew. But I'm getting sidetracked. Very final contract for the Battle Scarred or Desert Hydra. Let's do it. 11%. Show me the Hydra. <laughs> Well, the new collection's really not coming in our favor at all. I'd say that, but actually we did just hit an emerald that I have absolutely no idea how much that is worth. I know it's in Well Worn, so probably not that much, but if anyone knows, let me know down below in the comments. Maybe we'll try some more Battle Scar Desert Hydras sometime. I think that'd be pretty cool. If you want to see a different Battle Scar trade up video from me, because I haven't really done any before, then slap that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. And then leave down below your suggestion in the comments and maybe we'll make it happen. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see See you in the next video guys take it easy peace